As you see, we've got those two Carmelo plants starting to produce. They'll be ready in a few weeks. So we're pretty much abandoning our tomato patch that we've been following for several months. As you can see, those two rows we've already killed underneath. We'll get them ready for some fall, for some fall crops. Our two trellis systems, the, uh, the cattle panel and the stake and weave, we're going to try and renovate those, those plants, see if we can't get some fall crop out of them. We've gotten most of the tomatoes that we need. We just want a little bit of a supplement of tomatoes in the fall, supplement the other plants. First thing we're going to do is just start cleaning up in here. What we're trying to do is get rid of some of the old dead and diseased foliage. As Sue said, cut back always to a node. We're trying to clean some up, invigorate it so we get some good, strong, young foliage and shoots to fill in our to fill in our trellis again. We're basically starting from scratch. Here's a nice vigorous shoot that's coming up. We're going to leave that and use that. I think you can start to see the basic plan for what we're trying to do. Now we're going to go back and the rest of this do much the same thing. Again, we're just getting rid of the old to make way for some new. Now you want to remove all of the old fruit there. That's in competition with the new vegetative growth. And any fruit that's on there is going to slow your plant down. Right at this first part, you want vigorous growth, vigorous regrowth to fill in our canopy again. And then you can let it start fruiting. Now to get it, to give it a good kick and good boost to get it started again, I'm going to give it a little bit of ammonium nitrate about a half a cup for our 20 foot section here. This will give it some good kick of nitrogen. You get a good flush of growth. And then as we get into the fall, start getting flowers, fruit set. Now in the end of August, where we are, it'll be a bit nip and tuck getting those tomatoes ripe by the first frost. Uh, you may, you're kind of playing a, whether you're gonna take more fruit crop that's been set in the spring and early summer or you want to take a better chance of getting the fall. The way we look at it here, we've gotten most of the tomatoes we need. We're renovating this so that we get a bonus crop in the fall if it comes back from the renovation. If your tomatoes are still looking good, there is no reason to come back and do a heavy renovation like this. This is only necessary if your plants are starting to get ratty and getting over diseased or starting to get gangly. If you get into that situation, then yes, renovate. But if your tomato plants still look good, there's absolutely no reason at all to go through this. I'm going to finish up pruning here, put on our ammonium nitrate, and why don't you join Sue now while I finish this up. We hope you've enjoyed this classic from the Oklahoma Gardening Vault. Remember, even though these tips and techniques are timeless, there's always something new to learn in the world of gardening. By subscribing to both Oklahoma Gardening and OK Gardening Classics, you'll have access to a wealth of gardening knowledge, both classic and contemporary.